All right, Shane, think back. Five years goes by pretty quick, doesn't it? It really does. Uh, fifth year, you know, the last year, you start thinking about how kind of everything started and where you came from. It's just crazy to think about how, how fast those five years really go by. Take us back, and one of the things I remember about Shane Carden, Rio Johnson got the start 2012 opening day. Most quarterbacks, most players would have said, well, I'm going to support him, and you did say that. But the other thing you said was, look, you know, I'm not happy about it. I'm going to work my butt off. I'm going to be the starting quarterback. And from that moment on, you were the starting quarterback pretty soon after that. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't going to lie and say I was happy about the decision. Um, obviously, anyone that goes out to, and try to be the starter wants to be the starter. Uh, it was very tough to, to get that, but uh, as I look back, I've been asked, you know, what are you most proud of? And I think that's one of my most proud moments, just not hanging my head too much and, and keep fighting and keep preparing like I was a starter. You got your first start at Southern Miss, the home of Brett Favre. What did that mean to you? <laughs> uh, it was pretty crazy. Uh, you know, I've been called Brett Favre my whole life. That was my nickname my first year was Brett. Uh, I remember Dakota Marshall used to call me that. I'm not even sure if he knew my first name at first. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was crazy, the coincidence of that whole deal. And, and, and um, you know, it was a great, great win that we came down there for my first win as a starter. Talk about now you're the face of the program. And when people talk about East Carolina football, you know, they think of Ruffin McNeil. And for this year, they think Shane Card, the quarterback. Coach calls you the captain. He does. And, um, you know, I have nothing but a uh, huge amount of respect for Coach Ruff. Uh, everything he's done for me since I've been here, even including my freshman and sophomore year before I was starting at all. You, he was always there for me, always had his door open. Um, and yeah, it's just it's how it works when you're the quarterback. Uh, you start becoming the face uh, when you start playing for three years. Um, but you know, it's, it's an honor. It's an honor to uh, represent the school that's, that's given me so much and uh, allowed me to be a D1 football player. Last year was a magical season, winning at North Carolina, winning at North Carolina State. And the one thing a lot of folks talk about, the tattoo. Talk about the decision to get the tattoo, the decision to show it off at Chapel Hill. Uh, you know, there was a version of it that my friend had, and you know, I was, I was wanting to get something for ECU, and I always liked that logo, um, you know, even when I first got here. Um, so I wanted to get it. I kind of wanted to get it somewhere where we could see visible, but not too much. Um, and then I guess just the way it worked out, uh, you know, I just showing it off that game. There happened to be a camera right there that <laughs> got a good, pretty good picture of it. Um, but you know, I never really planned to like, like show it big time in uh, Chapel Hill or, or to have it like become that big, but. It's pretty crazy how, uh, how big that picture became. Shane, take us back to meet the Pirates. I mean, two guys were here a long time. It was almost dark. You know, I wanted to give a give back as much as I can to these fans. Uh, like I said, I've been here five years, and it's just been awesome how, how uh, much they've brought me in, uh, not being from North Carolina, not knowing too much about ECU. I remember my first uh, first year, I think it was like right after Meet the Pirates, the first game, I was sitting at five guys with my parents. And this little kid runs up to me, and he asked for my autograph, and I almost like kind of you know, step back, like, this kid wants my autograph, it's crazy. And, you know, I was sitting there, uh, kind of midway through, I was just, like, really starting to think, like, this is my last Meet the Pirates as a player will be sitting here. And, you know, I said, well, I'm, I'm gonna sit here until, until this line runs out or until, uh, you know, someone comes and drags me off the field. Luckily, that didn't happen, and I was able to sit here and get a talk to as many fans as I could. So I've been through the Jeff Blakes, the Marcus Crandles, the David Garrards. I put Shane Carden right up there. Thank you very much.